Hello. Some people have been getting a little upset lately. They seem to think there is a conspiracy and the government want you to buy an electric vehicle. The facts are the Aptera is like no other car, or for that matter, an electric car. And untrue stories are spreading, and Aptera strikes back at its critics by debunking many of the myths. Hello, I'm Nigel. I hope you can like and subscribe, and please leave a comment below. One myth is... The Aptera solar panels can be easily damaged on the road. One of the most common questions Aptera get from potential drivers that the solar panels will be exposed to tougher environments than the normal solar panels. So Aptera have designed their solar panels to be automotive grade, durable enough to withstand a gravel road. Aptera expect the solar to last over 10 years, even in the most extreme conditions. Plus, their robust solar panel design allows owners to easily upgrade or replace their solar panels in the unlikely event of damage. Another myth is you're more likely to scrape the curb in an Aptera because of its wider wheelbase and aerodynamic wheel covers will be susceptible to scraping the kerb. Aptera say they have accounted for that in their design. Their solar vehicles are equipped with backup cameras, parking assist, overlay and ultrasonic to make it easier to park. The vehicle communicates how far away you are from the obstacles so you can worry less when you're getting where you need to go, they say. Additionally, the wheel covers will absorb impact shock and allows for inexpensive and simple replacement. I'll show you something that would give any other vehicle extreme road rash on the rear tires or maybe pop them. Uh, since Aptera only has three wheels, I can literally cut left out of this parking space and the rear wheel is something I don't even have to worry about. Some people say the Aptera is very fragile because it's made with lightweight materials. But Aptera say it's true that the vehicles are advanced composite materials that are very strong and durable, even stronger than steel vehicles. The Aptera is similar to airplanes and Formula One racing cars. These energy absorbing methods are a core part of Aptera's safety strategy. Another myth is Aptera has worse blind spots than traditional vehicles. Aptera say their design prioritizes safety with extra long windows to minimize blind spots and the vision system with side view and rear view cameras and displays completely eliminates blind spots on the left and right of the vehicle. Another myth is Aptera can't go through a drive through ATM. Well, that one is true. I actually might be able to do it. <laughs> but I did this, I could do it. <laughs> I guess it's possible. I guess you can't so. Do it like this. We don't have those in the UK, so that's not going to be a problem. But we think that initially most Aptiras will appear on the United States roads, but I'm looking forward to seeing them in Europe and the UK. Our roads are narrower here, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be very popular, and I would love to get my hands on one. I bought my Tesla Model 3 in September 2021. At the time, I'd only just heard about the Aptera and saw a number of YouTube videos and saw that it was originally designed several years earlier and the project died and had been reinstated. And I was very, very excited about that. But I did wonder at the time 
how long it would be until we first saw the car on the roads. I was aware that it does take many years from the initial concept to the car actually arriving on the road. Tesla had announced the Cybertruck a few years earlier, as well as the Roadster Mark II, and they showed no signs of appearing on the roads. So I did wonder how long it was going to be for the Aptera to arrive. Also, I was very interested in the Tesla Model 2, a much smaller version of the Model 3. And again, I wondered how long it was going to be until that arrived. I thought with the Tesla Gigafactories in Berlin and China coming online, that the Model 2 would soon be arriving. But even now, two and a half years later, it still hasn't arrived. I really do hope that the Aptera can be manufactured in the thousands and tenths of thousands and even more. It will be a fantastic addition on the roads, a car that can get maybe 20, 30, 40 miles a day charge from the sunshine. And Aptera say that for people that don't do that many miles in a week, that you may never have to charge. And if you do, potentially the car could have a range of up to 1,000 miles. Well, that's a very bold claim and be interesting to see what happens when the first Aptiras are delivered to their customers. And I hope it is very soon. But please tell me, what do you think? Are you thinking of buying an electric car? Are you happy with your gas car? Do you think that there are advantages with lower prices for electricity, even though initially the cost of an electric car is more than a gas car? Do you have any concerns about going from gas to electric? Can you charge at home? Or will you be relying on charging at public charges? Are you worried that it's too expensive or they're not reliable enough? Have you been thinking about buying a Tesla, a Volkswagen, BMW, Ford, a Chinese BYD? Please let me know in the comments below what concerns you may have or if you have an EV please let me know if it's been successful and you would recommend other people buy an electric vehicle. Very interested in your comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you can subscribe and like. You can drive safely and see you next time. Bye.